The Mining Intelligence Surface Evaluation Application is an end-to-end, -end, pre feasibility level scoping, evaluation, and cost estimation platform. Using your own data, our advanced engineering-based software will calculate equipment, workforce, and processing costs, outputting the results on a phase-based timeline. These results can be used to evaluate your project using industry standard risk, sensitivity, and uncertainty models, allowing you to quickly compare projects that you have an interest in. This release accommodates projects in North America and all monetary values are presented in US dollars. From the projects page, you can view all of your available projects, check their complete or incomplete status, and create new projects. Here you can jump back into an existing project either by clicking on the project name or on the edit button. Once a project is completed, you can jump straight to the executive summary, analysis, or branch the project into a new scenario. For more on scenarios, watch the Scenarios and Comparing tutorial. Upon creating a new project, you'll be asked to define global project details, such as the project name and location details, such as country and province or state. You will also determine the global unit of measure as metric or imperial. This will define all generic measurements, but you will still be able to customize commodities. To get started, enter the total mineable resources for your project. This will form the foundation of your project's calculations. A project is complete when you have allocated all of the mineable resources, whether in a single phase or across multiple phases. Next, you'll begin filling in the operating data for your first phase. You can define the length of the phase, give it a custom name, enter shift details for your workforce, and finally, the ore and waste production rates. Next, you'll define the geologic deposit type. This deposit type will determine the available commodities. You can add up to five commodities and the grade, price, and other parameters for each individual commodity. Once your commodities are selected, you can define your primary, secondary, and tertiary ore and gange minerals. Next up is the mine production fleet. Based on your previous selections, the application has pre-selected the types of equipment for your project and optimized the fleet. You can override these values by clicking the unlock button. Lastly, you'll select the processing method. Similar to the production fleet, the processing method has been suggested based on your ore type and gange minerals. Once you've completed entering all parameters, you can move on to the next phase. If all mineable resources have been allocated, you can proceed to economics. In economics, you'll enter basic parameters like mine recovery and wall rock dilution, set tax rates, and smelting charges and transportation costs. Next, you can enter up to three discount rates used to compare net present value calculations. If royalties apply to your project, you can enter them here, but they are not required. With this complete, you can now view the executive summary or run a sensitivity or Monte Carlo analysis. The Mining Intelligence Surface Evaluation Application dataset is supported by a dedicated team of geologists, analysts, and developers. For over 20 years, these experts have refined the application and data, processing thousands of documents annually to ensure that our engineering-based calculations are as accurate and up-to-date as possible, providing you with the best, comprehensive scoping tool available. Find more tutorials like this on the Mining Intelligence YouTube channel.